So far you have seen how to set up Playwright test automation and also you have seen how to run Playwright test on the multiple browsers. In this Playwright tutorial I am going to discuss about how to generate the readable Playwright HTML test report. For example if you look at the previous Playwright test report. So in the report it is simply displaying all the Playwright commands executed ones, correct? How we can display the proper steps and for each steps what are the commands got executed and it is very easy for the tracing the exceptions or any failures also. So here I will navigate to the VS code. So let's display the Playwright test report in a readable format. So what I will do is here. So simply I will take the test object by using this test object. So simply I am calling to the one method called step. Before that you need to use the await keyword. So what is await? So I will discuss this in the next Playwright tutorial. For time being just use the await keyword followed by test object dot step. So inside this you need to specify the test sorry test step name. Say for example I am navigating to this particular URL. So here I will add the description for the test case step as navigating to URL. Then I am writing the one async arrow function here. So that's it. And I will open and close the floor brackets. So this is a one step. Say for example, I want to add it for the entering the username and password and I want to add it for the clicking on the button and finally I will add another step for validating the error message. So similarly I will copy this step and here I will say enter username and password. And then I will add another two steps, one for clicking on the sign in, another one for the validating the error message. So here I'll say click on sign in. Then here I'll say last step name as validate error message. That's it. Then I will simply cut the respective code from the below and I will add it inside the steps. So firstly I will take these two lines and I will put it inside the navigate to the URL. And then I will add the entering username and password in the second step. Then we are clicking on the sign in button. Let's, let's add it in the third step. In the fourth step, we are validating the error message. So that's it. So I will simply format this code. So that's it guys. So here we have created four steps. One is navigating to URL, then entering username and password. Then we are clicking on the sign in. Then we are validating the error message. That's it guys. Now if I run this test right. So 
So let's go back to the VS code and if you see here, our test is working fine. And if you see here, in the test results also, it's getting passed. Now, let's open the HTML test report. And if you see here, so let me click on the test. And if you observe here, so all the step, uh, step names are displayed here. So in this particular step, we are navigating to the URL, then entering username and passwords. And each and every step names are displayed here. So what exactly, exactly we are doing inside this step also, we will get to know from here also. So what are the playwright commands are getting executed. So for example, I will intentionally fail the step here, validating the error message. So here I'll pass uh, something additional as test text so that our test will get failed. So currently our test is still running and if you see here, our test got failed. So there is a mismatch in the expected and actual results. So I will go back to the our test report and I'll refresh this. And if you see here, firstly it has added the error information regarding the exception. For what reason this test got failed? And then if you see here, so it has failed on the last step where we are trying to validate the error message, correct? So this will be very easy for anyone to spot the failures and uh, it will be easy for them to fix the issues. So this is how you can generate the readable playwright test report.